Um, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Koholoyim La, Yehawah Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKudash, Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim, Ahwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yehawah Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. As a matter of fact, I'm about to roll through this tunnel. Not a tunnel, but the Christmas decoration, right? They're already doing this. Look. Now, if you can see off the sides, over here to the left, over here to the right, this is like a um, lights of festival shows, right? That they do. And, and it's all through the, it's like, yeah, maybe about seven, eight miles of it, you know, just through this big park. Real nice park. You know, it's like a metro park, you know, um, it's a lot of biking. You see a lot of animals. Um, as you can see, a lot of different colors of the um, the trees, you know, changing the colors as far as fall. But they're going through, you know, they're already doing Christmas decorations. They've been doing them for the past couple of weeks or whatever. And also, you know, you ride and you, and you just see. I, 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 I'm at the plantation right now and just came from a place where it's a damn Edomite in there. She dressed like a whole goddamn pumpkin, man. She can't even wait on the holiday. I mean, um, the, the Halloween shit. She's dressed like a pumpkin, whole outfit at the at the plantation, man, damn Edomite. So, you know, you get to thinking about these things, you know, you, um, you know, carnally, you know, so don't, you know, don't let your flesh get to you because you'll look at shit like this and be like, well, damn, you know, is this gonna ever end? Is it gonna ever end? Like, you know, you, you get vexed looking at the news, you reading the news, you, you seeing all kinds of bullshit going on. But we know, you know, that by the spirit, we're almost there, man. And um, I wanted to pull this quick scripture real quick. I'm driving. So, of course, I'm not, you know, I'll be roughly paraphrasing. It's just going to be something quick. It was just something that just hit me in the spirit, you know, because, like I said, I always ride through this park. I like to take through this park when I'm doing, um, you know, little runs that I'm doing for the plantation or whatever. You know, it's kind of serene. Like I said, again, you get to see the, the, the falling of the leaves, the different colors of the leaves. And, you know, you get to see the Lord's creation. You know, you get to see deer, you know, um, gophers and ducks and geese and cranes and swans. And there's all kinds of stuff out here. Um, so I just ride through here. But like I said, you know, and I'm just looking like, damn, they've been putting up Christmas, Christmas decorations since the beginning. I think the last of um, September. Because like I said, this is a huge park and they just have it and they charge for it. You know, they um, they set it up and they charge, I think, like $20 a car to drive through here, you know, um, to, you know, to, to woo your kids over to teach the next generation to be on some bullshit. Now, right here, they got USA with a big ass flag and they done painted USA on the grass. And I've been seeing that for the past year. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm in Edomite land. I mean, it's a park that's open to the public, public. But of course, you know, this is Edomite land. So they, they take advantage of it. Matter of fact, they're building a whole bunch of, as you can see over there, if you can see those real nice apartments or complexes right off the lake. It's a lake right here in front of me. And, um, you know, so, you know, they're, they're, they're living up, you know, the best of the land, you know, the fatness of the earth. This is their, their kingdom. And the scriptures talks about how Esau, what, um, you know, basically you know have the fatness of the earth and that he will live by the sword you see it's like i said it's real nice out here this is the lake right here this lake is pretty big it goes for a couple of miles too but i'm not sure if you can see that out there but you know it's a nice spot you know i, I just kind of drive down through here and you know check out the scenery is you know it kind of relaxes me as i'm doing my thing i listen to my lessons as i'm you know riding or whatever but i wanted to pull this scripture and it reads habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet to come for the vision is is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so that's what we have to keep in mind we have to always keep that in our fresh in our mindset that though it may seem like it's not happening but though we can see it though we can see it you know because you know we're watching the news and but you kind of be thinking like well why when is you know this is really going to happen when is this world war three really going to jump off when is this this um motb that revelation 13 and 16 really going to be implemented you know but we're watching it gradually play out you know 
at the speed of, you know, the way that the Lord wants, wants it to go. But, you know, we have to still keep in mind that, you know, though it tarry, and it seems like it's, it's taking a sec, don't worry about it. It's coming. It's coming just like this fall season came. You know, just like the next season is going to come, you know, as long as the Lord allowed the earth to tarry. You know? It's going to come. It's going to come just like, you know, it's people that they trust more in their Uber coming or their bus coming on time than, than the Lord, man. You know, this is not your, um, um, you at the airport and, and your, your plane has been canceled or delayed. You know, the Lord is right on time. It's going to be a perfect timing about this. And he's setting this man up in slippery slopes and slippery places. The scripture talks about the so-called white man being set up in slippery places. And, and, and that's a good preset because, you know, um, it goes off into um, I was envious at the um, the wicked when I saw the pro I was envious when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. I think it's I was quoted and um, but also that, you know, the precept goes off into, uh, you know, basically, you know, that jealousy where you seeing what's going on. And you're like, damn, they getting it. You know, they they, they constantly they're doing well. But. That scripture says that, hey, I, you know, the Lord set them in slippery slopes. So eventually they're going to slip and fall. And, it, and it's all falling before our very eyes right now. And it's a few articles that's out, you know, that's, that's, you know, pushing that straight to the forefront. We're starting to see it. Like, um, I wanted to get into this, this story. I'll see. I'm almost at my little location pulling up at the plantation right now. So I'll keep it short and sweet. But I'm um, talking about brick with um, Saudi Arabia. You know, when um, I seen a story where, you know, that's going to kill the American dollar if it goes that way, because, you know, it's, you know, this this whole earth is being ran off a of petrol dollar with the so-called white man's face on it, basically. And it's, it's coming, man. It, you know, though it Terry, wait for it. We're starting to see the economy collapse. Um, these these companies are, are, are talking more and more of um, digital replacement cash replacement they're not talking about you know it's just it's more i just seen a video yesterday with one of the brothers with a little eve well she appeared to be eve she could have been a a chocolate cutter chocolate cover chocolate cover edomite just from the way she was talking she was kind of weird you know but she was proud to have had the chip she had got chipped and went in the store and purchased something and said, you know, was explaining how it came out of her debit account. So, you know, these things are being talked about and we're there, man. It's moving just like a season, man. And Esau Edom season is almost up. So, you know, don't get discouraged. Don't don't fall back. Don't don't pull away from the plow, man. Don't turn back from the plow. Keep on working. Keep on standing to these lessons, videos, reading, fasting, praying. You don't want to slip right now. You know, just keep keep straight forward. Keep straight ahead, man. Don't turn to the left or right. Hey, that, that fire is on the right hand and that water is on the left. Hey, you keep on that straight path, man, because we're there, you know. But like I said, again, I'm at my plant, um, at the plantation and um, I'm about to make this little quick stop. So I just wanted to just touch on this and, um, you know, just pray that the, the, the lesson was edifying. Keep on moving. Keep on moving, man. It may seem as if it's moving slowly or, it, you know, because we can't see it like how the Lord see it. It's that simple. We can't see it like he he sees it. Though he gives us, you know, visions on it, we just gotta wait, man. So with that, come your solo.